Welcome, welcome on lesson four on Fusion inside of DaVinci Resolve. Uh, now we're getting into more advanced um, compositing techniques. Uh, well, not advanced, advanced, but still we're definitely um, using new tools. So today we're going to use the Planar Tracker and the Paint Tool, some of my favorite tools. So let's get started. Um, we are going to get on our Fusion page and we see, let's, first thing I want to do is actually, let's look at this clip. And it's it's just a van moving. Uh, however, the filmmakers here uh, they did add trackers on the van, and that would allow us to actually track those that uh, side of the van and get a nice track. Then paint those out. So basically means that we're gonna remove those trackers and then add a logo to it. Okay, all of that can be done with the planar tracker, the paint tool, and uh, a few other adjustments to blend things in at the end. Okay. So let's find a frame, a clear frame here that we like, that, that basically not that we like, but that shows the van at its best, the closest and the cleanest, which is about 65, okay? First thing, media uh, media in one here. First thing you, you should know by now is that I like to rename my assets right away, my nodes right away. Uh, so, okay, so we name it to van. And what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, add a planar tracker, okay? So if I type tracker, the one we've been using so far is the point tracker, which is the first one. This is the new one, the planar tracker here above. And this is really good for tracking um, surfaces such as billboards and phone screens and, and tablets and just anything of that sort, okay? So let's uh, set our reference time here which is our frame 65 and we are going to draw a mat around the sides of the van that we want to track so in this case it's going to be um, it's going to be here so let's do a rough mat around it okay make sure to include those points uh, it doesn't have to be perfect yet uh, because you can always do adjustments. Remember, the more points you add, the more precise your mats are. Uh, however, the more, the least points, the least precise, but the more manageable. So there is a, a pro and a con with the more points you add, obviously the least manageable your um, mat is going to be. So about there, I added a ton here, just, just to show you. But anyway, so we can basically, um, adjust those a little bit so you can go up down you know just really um, it doesn't have to be extremely precise as I said um, but I'm gonna do a few more adjustments here okay so about here should be good and take this out a little bit like that same with this okay so we have a pretty good um, okay and that's all around our van here Awesome. Good. Now that we did that, we're ready to uh, to track it. So we are going to track first forward and then backwards, okay? Or vice versa. We can start backwards, doesn't matter. So uh, we have a track, uh, reference time as we said 65, then, um, okay, we can track backwards. nice and then we are going to go here go then last track forward perfect now we have our tracking done here and uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, to add a um, time stretcher we want to basically freeze frame the image here the video to an image well because we're going to use it to paint out things so on, on, on my time speed here i am going to set oh i selected a time speed see that's wrong you need a time speed see i wasn't paying attention time stretcher not there here time see things like that happen all the time even to people that have been doing this. Uh, so time stretcher here, take the output of the van into our time stretcher and let's load it. 
and we are on frame let's load it to frame 65 uncheck that okay and then our source time is going to be 65 around there so that's our source so now look if I play the clip here if I play the clip look what happens we have a freeze frame and remember that's because we've loaded our time stretcher here okay nice so uh, let me leave it on frame 65 here uh, okay so now we can start painting on it so I'm going to get the paint tool here and really get um, to our uh, stroke uh, and we want to clone that so I am going to select a point here like that one and then uh, start painting things out slowly okay like that painting things out about there let's keep painting this out as well a bit of less actually select this point here and there we go we do a, a clean oh see see what happens you gotta be careful and sometimes you might need to move it. That's a good example of on how, um, if you're not careful, you know, um, it's going to. Because remember, the clone tool is basically taking this is your the axe is your point of reference, and it's basically using that as your source to clone the rest. Okay, perfect. Then. Let's keep painting. Ooh, 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 ooh. Very careful. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward process. Okay, and let's keep painting on it. It's a pretty clean one. And we do that. I used to, this used to be one of my favorite parts of the effects. Okay, and now we we completely uh, cleaned. We painted over our van, and the trackers are gone. Okay, so now that we did that, what we're gonna do next is to add an image uh, into the van. Okay, and to do that, I am going to actually go on up here on Fusion, then import a PSD. I'm going to select here on the uh, desktop on my um, training tutorials here and we are going to import uh, fusion files uh, this eat joe's uh, file okay and now see what happens i had something selected there but look imported my logo there so remember to click out so nothing is really clicked there and then one more time, I'm gonna do the same thing, fusion, import, PSD, and just bring it in. It's here already, so open. And he's bringing it <laughs> to my van. Okay. Let's load the media too, see? Now this is happening because we are working off of the time stretcher, not the actual, um, not the actual uh, clip here. So I'm gonna do something else here because for some reason this is being complicated right now. Take that PSD file and then just drop it here, you know. Uh, and once I do that, brings it in as a media one can do that so what do you want to do then it's import PSD it's frustrating uh, and I don't know why it's putting it on my did 
delete that, delete the normal here. I have my logo here. Okay, so this is the logo I want. Okay, <sighs> finally. Okay, sorry about that. Um, it's the logo I want. Let's add a let's add a merge node here. After the paint, let's load the merge and let's bring the logo in. And now the Joe's Joe's eat at Joe's uh, logo is on top of, of our van here. Okay, great. So what we want to do is to this looks like it's straight up a Photoshop image pasted into the van. Here. So let's fix that. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is to uh, our merge here. I'm gonna change the apply mode to soft light, and now it's better. But it looks kind of like let me zoom in, kind of transparent here. Um, and I don't like that. So uh, in order to fix that, we are going to add a um, brightness and contrast node, then take my gamma all the way, not the gamma, sorry, you can take the lift all the way down here. And you can see that now it is much, much better. However, we have this weird edges here and we want to fix that just by going here on pre-divide post multiply and fusion is amazing, does everything for you. And now the edges much cleaner okay so now the image is blending perfectly with our van here um, okay so now once we did that we need to kind of adjust this um, the logo I do that with the corner positioner and let's change our parameters here so um, basically we are going to um, do this by we're gonna here gonna um, zero and this is gonna be one then this is going to be one and then we are going to change this to zero here and then if I change this to zero as well now it centers it for us uh, I want it a little bit kind of like a more centered uh, uh, a little bit more so I'm gonna change this to 0.25 here and I'm gonna do the same with the bottom left as well so only the left side 0.25 and we have something like that uh, let's also bring this up by probably I would say to uh, 0.1 and then uh, the top here to let's do 0.9 Okay, so now we have an image that is much better centered and it feels, it, it, it respects the perspective, okay, the image. So now it, it looks uh, much more realistic, blended in, okay, perfect. Now that we did that, we need to uh, do a few more things. Uh, first off, I want to, uh, as I said before, this is only the image is pasted in on into this image. This is all based on the time stretcher here, the uh, freeze frame that we added and we painted out, etc. If I go steal my media out, look, we still have only that that image, uh, that uh, video, right, uh, with the trackers. So in order to do that, first thing I'm going to do is grab the polygon tool. And I am going to draw around that same side of the door. And now I am going to be kind of detailed with this. Okay, I roughly, roughly the same way I did before. Okay, about here. About here, about here, about here, and you want to draw around your, you know, draw a mat around your side of the van, just like we did in the beginning of the video when we tracked our planar tracker. Okay, so keep it up to about here okay and then that should be good okay perfect now you can always do a few adjustments in case you need to um, 
adjust it a little bit. That should be good for my purpose. Uh, so about here, about here should be good. Yeah, that should work. Okay, I added quite a few points to it. Now if I go back, looks good. Okay, now what I want to add is a med control, right, to attach this to. So I would attach our merge to our med control. We can load our mat control here and then add the polygon here to our mat control as a garbage mat. And now it's actually doing what not what we want. This is removing this. We want to actually isolate that. So we need to invert it. Once we invert it, now it isolates the um, um, side of the band here. Okay, so now the problem is that it did isolate it. However, it's missing something okay so this is our tracker but if I load here the merge tool right it, it's we just basically isolated pasting this in but we haven't given yet the information the tracking information for this to uh, follow the van and we still need to do that and to do that we're gonna go back on our planar tracker here and create a planar transform and with the planar transform now, now we can take our mat controls output, attach it to our planar transform, and once we view it on the planar transform, now look what happens. This has the information from the tracking we did. Now the door moves alongside with it. Okay. Now that we did that, we just need to connect it to our. Um, to our merge and then just finally viewing our media out. To do that, I am going to delete the planar tracker. It served its purpose. And then add a merge. Let's add a merge here. Take our planar tracker, take the output, insert into the foreground, and let's view our merge too. Actually, let's view our media out. No. Okay, and let's play the clip. And now you can see that we successfully added a logo on the side of our van. We removed the trackers and added a logo to it. Now we need to do some fixing. A few last adjustments. If I go around frame 90 here, I can see I have a problem. You can see this kind of harsh edges here. We need to kind of fix that a little bit. In order to do that, I am going to go back actually on my polygon here. Uh, first off, I'm going to soften the edge a little bit to about maybe 50. And that does do it a little bit. However, I want to kind of like still adjust a little bit better. So if I go on my polygon and select my um, make double poly here and then right click controls select polygon auto polygon let me drag out the auto polygon here so this way I can basically get that get rid of that almost see now we really got rid of it. It's not there anymore. Okay. And if I load this into the screen, we can see that we blended in. We blended it, yeah, much, much better. Now it's much more convincing, much more realistic. We need to do one last thing. So looking at the image, I noticed that the image is a little jittery. It's not following the motion. You know, when you when you record something, you still have some motion blur. So we need to add it to the text, which um, it's not basically doing that as well as the image itself. So it's too it's it's a little jittery. So to do that, I am going to go my uh, planar tracker here, settings, add some motion blur. Look what happens, and now we can see. Uh, the dust blends are better. I'd, it's a little bit too excessive though. So I'm going to change my shutter angle to 130. So we bring back a little bit 
of that and then change my quality to five okay and now save we can basically view this let's let it load and now our image our image that we had here the time stretcher so our video now has a much more realistic um, more blended in logo into the side of the band and we achieve that by doing our last few touches okay so that was that's it for this video this was tutorial number four lesson four on uh, we went a little bit more advanced tools and techniques and I am going to do another part of with basically the same technique something much shorter much uh, simpler just to reinforce the concepts and the tools that we learned today thank you for watching